nitauliza kwa nini miaka ikuwe muhimu hivyo kwa nini ni so important kuja kusema tunamaliza 2022 tunaingia 2023 ni kwa nini mpaka church i, ipange ibada ya kuruka mwaka kutoka mwaka moja hadi mwaka mwingine eh kwa nini hadi church ipange why is it so important kwa nini kanisa ipange mpaka tushangilie tukipokea mwaka kwani si hizi time ni kama zile time zingine kwani huo usiku wa leo si ni kama ule usiku ulikuwa wa jana na huo usiku mwingine watu hujiuliza mambo mengi sana lakini mimi ningependa kwanza hata kabla niingie kwa neno la mwaka ni kuonyesha umuhimu wa kitu inaitwa times and seasons na kila siku sio kama ile siku ingine. kila wiki si kama ile wiki ingine. kila mwezi sio kama ule mwezi mwingine na kila mwaka sio kama mwaka mwingine wote so hiyo ndio importance ya kutoka mwaka moja kuingia mwaka mwingine wakati Mungu aliumba bingu na nchi in Genesis chapter 1 siku yake ya nne ya umbaji in chapter in verse 14 hivi ndivyo alivyosema Genesis 1:14 Genesis chapter 1 verse 14. Ningependa tusome tukiwa wote kama macho yetu yote iko kwa screens ndio tusaidiane. 1 2 3 let's read. The Bible says go back. Then God said let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years so huu mpango wa miaka na miezi na wiki ulikuwa ni mpango wa Mungu na aliweka tangia mwanzo alipoumba bingu na nchi siku yake ya nne ya kuumba aliumba two great lights ndio aliumba jua na akaumba mwezi na akaumba nyota na biblia inatuambia sababu yenye ilifanya aumbe sababu moja ya kuumba ni ya kwamba hizo vitu zipeane mwangaza kwa dunia lakini kuna sababu nyingine ya pili ndio hizo pia lights ziweze ku mark seasons ziweze ku mark days na ziweze ku mark pia miaka kwa hivyo ukiangalia kama jua tuwa tunasema siku moja inaishanga wakati jua inazunguka once ama wale wanasema jua hai move ni the earth na move whatever you say lakini baada ya kuzunguka once hiyo inakuwa tunasema siku moja imeisha so yeye aliweka jua akaweka mwezi na akaweka stars za ku mark days na za ku mark pia years na seasons kwa hivyo wakati tunaongea kuhusu miaka ama miezi huwa tunaongea kuhusu seasons na kuna seasons za siku moja kuna seasons zingine za wiki kuna seasons zingine za mwezi mzima na kuna seasons pengine za mwaka mzima na hata baada ama hata zaidi ya mwaka kuna kitu watu tunaita a decade season ya miaka kama kumi. na kumbuka wakati tulikuwa tunaanza 2020 ndio tulikuwa tumeanza ministry the lord gave me both the word for that 2020 na pia mwaka wa decade mzima ama message ya decade mzima so kuna season ya mwaka lakini pia kuna season ya miaka kama kumi. na kuna season pia kama ya miaka mia moja. na kuna seasons pia za kama a thousand years hiyo ndio huwa tunaita millennium. Mama huwa tunaita aje? Ni millennium mama ni century. Century ni miaka mia moja, si ndio? So hizo ni seasons. Na hizo seasons ni muhimu sana Mungu ndiye aliziestablish. Na aliweka lights. Hizi lights ni za ku mark the end of a season and the beginning of a season. Kama vile jua ama mchana ukiisha, jua ni kwenda huwa inaenda chini tunajua mchana umeisha. Hey. So it means season inapoisha kuna mwangaza huwa unaenda chini na season pia inaanza like wakati kila siku inaanza jua linachomoza hivyo hivyo kila season ikianza kuna light huwa inachomoza kwa hiyo season ninamaanisha hivi kama vile 2022 imeisha hiyo ni season imepita kuna ile light ilikuwa inaoperate 2022 hiyo light imeset wakati that season imepita Then there is another light because he leads in every season using lights. So he put the lights that they may be the marks or signs for seasons, for days and for years. I know that is too deep for many of us and so I will keep that for another day. But I want you to know that every season has its light. 
kama vile usiku ni mwezi unatawala na ukifika mchana mwezi unaondoka inakuwa ni jua inatawala kila season iko na light yake iko na mwangaza wake so 2022 sasa vile imeisha the light for the 2022 has gone down and now there is another light I, there is another light there is another light for this year that is why hata themes za kila mwaka unaona zinabadilika kwa kuna kile pengine Mungu alikuwa amesema huo mwaka umeisha sasa mwaka mwingine ukiingia anasema this is season for this and this and this na pengine hiyo season ikipita anasema pia tumeingia kwa another season na hii ni season ya kitu fulani na mimi huwa nawaambia ile wisdom kubwa sana mwanadamu anaweza kuwa nayo ni wisdom ya kujua seasons kichange na kujua hii season ilikuwa ya kitu fulani na vile tumeingia hii season nyingine ni ya kitu fulani kwa hivyo singependa pia sisi tukae kwenye giza kama vile Mungu alitupatia neno la 2022 sasa pia Mungu anatupatia neno la 2023 ambalo ndio ta itakayotuongoza Biblia inasema kwamba the word of the Lord is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path so hilo ndilo neno litatuongoza kwa mwaka mzima kama vile kuna neno lilituongoza in 2022 let me see how many people remember the message for the 22 2022 tulisema 2022 ilikuwa mwaka wa nini kama uko hapo unakumbuka inua mkono Uh, I see so many people wanakumbuka. Kama tunakumbuka wote, si tuseme kwa sauti 1 2 3 kila mmoja mwenye anakumbuka. It, the, it was the year of what? God's sunrise. That was the word that God gave us for 2022. Na imetuongoza hadi mwisho. Sasa the Lord is also giving us the word, his word to lead us. Na unapoongozwa na neno, hauwezi jikoa, hauwezi pata giza maana hilo neno litaongoza miguu yako na litaongoza njia zako Bwana Yesu asifiwe times and seasons ukisoma kwenye Daniel chapter 2 verse 19 Daniel chapter 2 19 the bible says macho yetu yote yako hapa kwa screens tunaweza soma 1 2 3 eh tukae hapo kwanza huu ni wakati Mfalme Nebukadineza aliota ndoto na alipoota ndoto akasema anataka hiyo ndoto ikuwe interpreted aambiwe ndoto na ikuwe interpreted na wale watu wote the wise men wa Babylon wakashindwa ku interpret the dream lakini sasa kukapatikana Daniel ambaye aliita Shadrach Meshach and Abednego na wakaenda wakaomba usiku mzima na Biblia inasema sasa kwa hii verse ya kwamba usiku huo Mungu akamtokea Daniel in a night vision na akamuonyesha ile ndoto akarivili ile ndoto na pia ka reveal interpretation ya ile ndoto. Now the next verse is Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. For wisdom and might are his. Wisdom and might are his. Uh, the next verse. Sasa huyu ni Daniel ana anasifu Mungu. Anasema, he changes time the times and the seasons. So Mungu ndiye hubadilisha times and seasons. Ye ndiye hubadilisha miezi mwezi huu uishe ukuja mwingine maana kuna kitu anataka afanye kwa mwezi fulani na ukipita anafanya mwaka mwezi mwingine ndio maana unaona hata kuna chache zingine ama watu fulani even months wanakuwa kama january wanasema this is the month of this january this is the month of this. kwa sababu kuna hizo seasons pia seasons sio za miaka peke yake hata months na weeks pia ni seasons na Mungu ndiye huleta hizo seasons so wale watu mnadanganywa ati hii mambo ya kusherekea mwaka mpya sijui ilianza na akina nani actually it's not godly but it is god who brings the beginning of a year and even the end of a year he's the one who brings the beginning of a month and the end of a month he changes times and seasons now i want you to notice some of the things that happens or some of the things that are changed when seasons are changed number one, the bible says he removes kings and raises up kings <laughs> Kwa kila season ikiisha kuna watu huenda na hiyo season. Na kila season ikiisha maana lazima season nyingine ianze kuna watu huinuka na hiyo season. Na mimi ninaombea mtu aliye katika nyumba hii wewe ni moja wapo ambao wanainuka with this season of 2023 in the name of Jesus. You are rising in the area of ministry. You are rising in the area of business. You are rising in the area of finances. You are rising in the area of family. This is your season. This is your time. 
Mungu wetu ni Mungu ambaye hufanya kazi pia na times and seasons. Kwa hiyo ukisoko kuna vitu zenye Mungu amegojea tu time ifike. Hiyo ndio unasikia na Biblia ikiongea kuhusu the opportune time, the the right time. So kuna vitu zingine hata ukililia saa hizi Mungu anagojea kuna wakati wake ambao unafaa. Na wakati wa hiyo kitu ikifika, God does it swiftly and very easily. So wakati season zinaisha, kuna watu wanaisha na hiyo season. Na kuna watu wengine wanainuka na hiyo season. The Bible says the next verse, he gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Hapa kuna vitu tatu unaona kuna wisdom kuna knowledge na understanding nilikuwa ninafunza mambo ya wisdom hapa tulipokuwa karibi tunakaribia kufunga mwaka na tutaona those are the main things we need this year those are the main things we need in this year ambao tunaingia i'm here to tell you to give you the exact message for this year just be patient and wait but the bible says that pia season inapoanza kuna mtu ama kuna watu Mungu hupatia hekima kuna watu ambao Mungu hupatia maarifa unaona he gives wisdom unaona to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding why kwa sababu wanapoinuka kama vile Daudi alikufa naye Solomon akainuka Solomon sasa ameinuka kama king lakini hakuwa na wisdom ya kutosha ya kuongoza watu na ilikuwa ni time yake ya kuongoza so what god did with solomon is that he gave him wisdom for that season you remember the bible talks about the sons of skepha bila sema ya kwamba walikuwa wanajua kupambanua wakati walikuwa wanajua they had the understanding of times the wisdom of time ya kujua hii ni 2023 hivi ndio Mungu anataka nifanye 2023 yani walikuwa na discernment ya time so any season kwa sababu kuna watu wapya wanainuka na hao watu ndio wafanye kazi la Mungu lazima wakuwe na wisdom understanding and knowledge god there is wisdom new wisdom for every season there is new understanding for every season and there is new knowledge for every season wherever you are lift your hand one of your hand lift it up lift it up na ningependa ufungue mdomo wako and tell the lord father in this new season give me the wisdom for this season the wisdom for this season the understanding for this season the knowledge for this season may i know what you want done in this year may i know how you want it done may i know where should i do it oh father give me the discernment of time oh in the book of psalms the bible says oh dan david was praying and he was telling the law help me to number my days teach me to number my days someone just tell the law give me the wisdom for this season every season has its wisdom every season has its knowledge every season has its understanding the understanding of time the understanding of season that i may know what god want me to do this year in jesus name someone say amen So there is wisdom for every sea. Make sure you get the wisdom for this season. And mainly the wisdom is brought through the word of God. Through the word of God. Can we see verse 2022 uh, verse 22? He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what it is or what is in darkness and light dwells in him. In every new season there are things that God reveal that he had not revealed there before. Oh my god. Every new season. You know the Bible says that knowledge will increase. In every age there are things that God revealed that he had not revealed to the previous generations. Ha. Unajua Mungu alipoita Abraham aliji introduce kwake Biblia huwa inasema kama El Shaddai. Na kwa hivyo wakaishi kama wamemjua kama El Shaddai but when the season ended akakuja kwa Musa wakati alikuwa anataka kuwatoa kwenye mkono wa farao na kutoka Misri alikuja akawaambia by this name your fathers never knew did not know hawakunijua kama Jehovah walinijua tu kama El Shaddai lakini because there is a new thing i want to do with in this season there are things i must reveal myself in a way you never knew me So every season has its own revelations 
In every season, God reveals deep things and sacred things. There are things that were never revealed in the Old Testament, but they were revealed in the New Testament. There are things that were never revealed in the days of the foundation of the church, but they have been oh, revealed in the days that have passed. There are things that have been revealed in the generations that have been there, and they have, there are things that are going to be revealed in our times that have never been revealed. Oh my God. And that is where now we are getting to the theme, our theme for this year. Our theme for this year. There are things that have not been revealed any other year. Revelations come. You know, the Bible talks about Uzziah and uh, Isaiah in uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 6. Na wakati mwingi ni vizuri kugunduanga vile mamba ufanyika. And the Bible says that the day Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the Lord. I told you every season, there is a sunset and a sunrise. So, there is a revelation that Isaiah got because a season had ended and a new season had begun. Siju kama kuna mtu wanaelewa kile nasema, inuwa mkono kama unaelewa ile mambo ninaongea. Kuna mambo ambayo buwana hufunua, hu reveal. Mageni mapia. Kila season. Na sasa tuko kwa season ingine mpya. Maana tumeona aliweka miaka na siku kama za kumark seasons. So we are in a new season in 2023. In a new season. There are revelations that God is going to reveal to you. And the Bible explains it very well in the book of Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. We can read from verse 1. Alafu tuendele chini. Ndiyo tufike mahali. Nataka tufike kwa hiyo verse. And I, brethren, when I came to you, did not come with excellence of speech or of wisdom, declaring to you the testimony of God. Unajua anawaambia, wakati nilikuja kwenye kwa hubiria, ni Paul anawaambia the Corinthians, si kukuja na maneno mengi ya, ya hekima ama maneno ya kufutia, no, no. but he is telling them the next verse, for I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and, his, and him, Crucified, the next verse. I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in much trembling, verse 4. And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. And now I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm Si kuja tuna maneno mazuri ya kuvutia lakini nilihakikisha injili nilio kuja kuwahubiria ilikuwa na these two things the demonstration of the spirit and the demonstration of power in other words wakati nilikuja Roho Mtakatifu aridhirishwa kwenye maisha yenu number 2 nguvu za Mungu ziridhirishwa kwenye maisha yenu si kutaka niwahubirie tu kwa maneno mazuri kuna watu kuwa na maneno mazuri matamu Ile huwa inaambio inaweza toa nyoka pangoni. Kuna watu hata mahubiri yao ni matamu. Lakini maisha yao hayaonyesha ni chochote wanacho kisema. Paulo wakasema siku penda ni kuje kwa hekima ya wanadamu ni wapritie. But I came to you with the demonstration of the spirit and of power. It is from this verse we are getting our, our theme, our theme, our theme for this year. But let's continue. I, we are going to come back and I am going to, to tell it to you. Let's go to the next verse. Verse 5. That your faith should not be in wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Alitaka hawa watu, wasiamini tu kwa maneno matamu ya watu, lakini waone nguvu za mungu zikifanyika. Eh, waone mtu amepona, waone mtu ameinuliwa, waone kitu kwa macho yao, kitu ambacho kimefanyika. Ndiyo maana alikuja by the demonstration of the spirit and the demonstration of power. The next verse says, However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing. Lakini anawambia, hata kama hivo, tunapopata na watu ambao wame grow, kuwa tunawapritia na wisdom. Lakini siyo wisdom, hii ya dunia, ambayo it is coming to nothing, ambayo ni bure. Mimi ningependa uongee na jirani yako at that juncture mwambie hekima ya hii dunia ni bure. Bible sema the wisdom of this age, the wisdom of these rulers. The Bible says that it is coming to nothing. 
it is coming to nothing. The wisdom of this world is coming to nothing. So he is saying, I do not want your lives to be built on the wisdom of this world that is coming to nothing. I wanted your faith to be built on another higher wisdom. On a higher wisdom. Wisdom and bio equals the idea of wisdom. And so he says the next verse. We are going very fast actually. In the next few minutes we will be through. We begin to pray. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. The hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory. Mnaona mahali tulikuwa? In Daniel tumeona kila new season iko na revelation yake. Sasa he is telling them that we speak wisdom. And what is this wisdom? This wisdom is a hidden wisdom. It was hidden from Adam. It was hidden from Enoch. It was hidden from Abraham. It was hidden from Moses. It was hidden from the other ages. But now it has been revealed for our glory. It has been revealed in our time. So every season has its own wisdom that is revealed in that season. Wisdom. He is telling them there is a wisdom that God wanted your faith to be established on. Not the wisdom of this world that is coming to nothing. But it is a higher wisdom. It is hidden. So in other words, it is not exposed to every man. But it is hidden for our glory. There are things God has hidden for me and you. There are things that God has not exposed. And it is because of me and you. There are things he has been hiding. Just because of me and you. And this is the year that the Lord is going to unveil them. This is the year that the Lord is going to reveal them. This is the year that the Lord is going to release them. Because these things were for this year. Were for this season. And they are for our glory. Someone shout hallelujah. Someone said there is something for me in this season. There is something for me in this season. There is a wisdom for me in this season. There is a light for me in this season. There is a revelation for me in this season. Things that have not been revealed there before, they will be revealed to me this season. Someone shout hallelujah. I am saying shout. Someone shout hallelujah. I am saying someone shout hallelujah. This is our time. This is our season. Then he continues to say, <laughs> Thank you. It is that hidden wisdom which none of the rulers of this age knew. For had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord or the Lord of glory. This wisdom you are talking about is a wisdom that this world do not know. Is a wisdom that the leaders, the rulers of this world do not know. If they knew this wisdom, they would not have crucified our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. Mimi ningependa niwaambie kitu leo ambayo nataka kila mmoja wenyu washike na itakusaidia sana. Wengi wetu tulidanganywa wakati wote unapofanya kitu chochote hata kama uko peke yako, tulidanganywa ati kuna watu watatu ambao hujua na hauwezi waficha tukaambiwa wa kwanza ni Mungu tuliambiwa wa pili ni nani ni shetani na watatu ati ni wewe mwenyewe this is how you are made to think and to believe all of us that anywhere you are Mungu anakuona shetani anakuona na wewe unajiona ati huwezi ukapita hao watu watatu kwa kila kitu unafanya lakini leo nimekuja kukuambia those are lies the Bible is talking about some things that are hidden even from the Satan. That are hidden from the devil and from the rulers of this world. Shetani hajuagi. Unajua shetani is not omnipresent kama vile Mungu ni omnipresent. Mungu ndiye yako kila mahali kupitia roho wake. Shetani anategemea demons peke yake. It is through his demons ya kwamba anaweza akakuwa in some places. But he is not in all places every time no shetani actually mlidanganywa ati anajua ile kitu nafikiria the devil does not know what is in your mind or in your heart unless if he planted it actually shetani utegemea wakati tunaongea ndio maana kuongea kwetu tunafaa kuwa very careful acha niwaambie vile shetani ujua zile mipango unapanga acha niwaambie vile shetani ujua zile vitu unafikiria unless you bring them out he will not know what you are up to. 
So number one, anakojeaga wakati tunaongea number two, hata wakati unaomba. That is why we need even to talk in tongues many times. The Bible says that he did not know this wisdom. So this he is talking about the crucifixion of Jesus. Imagine shetani mwenyewe hata ndiye anaua Yesu. Yeye ndiye kupitia wale watu ndiye anaua Yesu. Kama angejua kupitia Biblia sema kama angejua ya kwamba ni kupitia kukufa kwa Yesu watu watakombolewa. He would not have crucified him. So whoever the whoever deceived you that the, the devil knows everything from today you ought to know that the devil does not know <laughs> sometimes i ni huwa ninafika kwa vitu fulani and i say, ah le, 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 in this section let me pray in tongues hallelujah he will not hear he does not hear tongues he hears english he hears kiswahili he hears your mother tongue he does not hear tongues that is why unaona ukiwa unasikia uko na Unajua hata mwili wako ukianza kuuma shetani anategemea vile utaongea ndio ajue vizuri. So wale mnapenda kuongea negative things hapo ndio ana confirm huwa ana confirm kwa hivyo hiyo kitu inafanyika. That is why you you should never speak negative words, evil words. He is listening. But he does not know everything. There are many things that are hidden. I wish I had time I would have read for you. In the book of Job chapter 28 the says there is a way there is a way my god my god we we can read it very fast eh? i know it's not in your notes job chapter i just allow me to read that it is so important i want you to know that there are things the devil does not know that will help you that will help you that will help you itakusaidia sana job 28 verse 7 is it 27 job job alafu weke hii tuna, tunarudi hapo tunarudi hapo job 28 yes ni hapo thank you thank you thank you the bible says that path no bad knows nikipata time nitakuja niwaridie hii the whole of this chapter it is so important we'll be reading it in our theme ama in our teachings for this theme the bible says that that path no bad knows has the falcon eyes so there is a bird there is somewhere there is a place that no bird knows when it talks about birds we know that birds can fly high but there is a high place somewhere where no bird cannot reach the bible says no falcon's eyes seen it a falcon's eye is so strong like a eagle it is seen so far but the bible says there is a place even the falcon eyes has not seen then the next verse says we are reading very fast the proud lion have not trodden it nor has the fierce lion passed it a lion is likened to the devil the bible says that he is roaring like a lion the bible says that the proud lions the place even lions they have not seen that place they have not stepped trodden they have not walked on that place so there are hidden treasures there are hidden places it is not everything that is exploited no it is not everything that is revealed there are still hidden things no falcon eye has seen it no bird has seen it the bible says even the proud lions the fierce lion the proud devil there are places he has not seen there are places he has not seen what does the other verse say Thank you. We shall come there, but let's now go another day we shall come there. Let's go and finish in uh, in Corinthians. You are in uh, verse 8. Thank you. <laughs> the Bible says that this wisdom is hidden. It is hidden from the previous ages. It is also hidden from the rulers of this age. But it has been revealed for our glory. Then the next verse says that is now where our theme scripture for this year will be coming from. Media department the same way you prepared for us last year. Uh -huh. which book are we reading may the lord bless you and keep you deuteronomy chapter 6 now this is the verse we'll be reading for every one of us in every service in every service we have this is the the theme verse for our year this is the year the, the verse that we should all clam or even understand this is the verse we'll be reading including today after the end of this service the bible says but as it is written i has not seen 
nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. And we begin right now to practice. So I want you to read this to your neighbor. The way we'll be reading it every service. Tell them, my neighbor, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of a man the things which God has prepared for you. Uyo amekani kama ashiki. Ambia uyo mwingine hata kama akonyuma. Tafta mwingine. Mwambia my neighbor, my neighbor. Na wengine wenyu mnani enjoy. Na angalia unaambia mwenye tuli kome. Ambia nimesema ubadilishe. Mwambia mwingine tofauti. Mwambia my neighbor, my neighbor. I has not seen. Nor ear heard. Nor have entered into the heart of a man the things which God has prepared for you. Thank you. Someone can say amen if you believe. Amen. <laughs> oh my God. The Bible is saying that as we have seen even in the book of Daniel, that there are things that no eye has ever seen. Even the falconer's eye, they have not seen. Even there is no bird that has ever seen. Even the proud lions and the fiercest lion, they have not seen it. No eye has seen. Number two, no ear has heard. No ear has heard. Number three, no heart has perceived or it has not even entered anyone's heart what the Lord has prepared for you. What the Lord has prepared for you. Someone say, what the Lord has prepared for me. This year is the year we are going to experience things that have not been seen by men. Things that have not, never been seen in your family. This is the year we will see them. This is the new year we are going to experience new things. Do you know what new things means? New things means new. In other words, it is coming for the very first time. <laughs> Some things will come into your life for the very, very, very first time. And there are things that are coming to you. Things that have not been seen. Even by, by, by your family members. Things that have not been seen by others. Things that have not been heard by others. Some of you will begin to speak things that men have not heard there before. You begin to speak in tongues that men have not heard there before. You begin to speak wisdom that men have not spoken there before. You begin to say things that men have not heard there before. Some of you will sing songs that no one else has ever heard. Some of you, I, I am telling you, ay, 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 ay. If you are here and you are a worshiper or you are a singer or you have that desire especially of, 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 of producing even music and singing wherever you are stand up on your feet this is a prophetic night this is a prophetic night anyone anyone who is a singer you even have that burden of, of worshiping God of, of singing one of the things the Lord has just told me <laughs> he is going to do this year you guys are going to sing and what you are going to sing is what has not been sung there before. And I see many of you have been singing. The Lord is saying you have been singing what has been sung by others. But he is saying that in your bellies, he is putting new songs. He is putting new praises. Right now, just lift your hands towards me wherever you are. And I release new songs into your spirit. I release new praises into your spirit. I release thanksgivings into your spirit. I release gratitude into your spirit. I release joy into your spirit. That it will overflow even from your mouth. You shall sing new songs. You shall sing new songs. You shall sing new songs. You shall teach new songs even to generations. And others will sing that song. Others will sing that song. Others will sing that song. You have been singing songs that are sung by others. But you are singing new songs. New songs. The Lord is depositing it in your hearts, in your spirits. New songs. New songs. Some of you as you sleep, you shall, you shall wake up singing new songs. 
in the name of Jesus. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Ukifika mahali ukisikia hiyo ni wewe inakuhusu. Take it by faith. We take it by faith. From the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. Take it by force. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So the Lord is saying that eye has not seen. Ear has not heard. It has not even entered the heart. Or the heart of any man. What the Lord has prepared. I want you to know that there is something that God has prepared for you this year. Every one of you. In the book of Jeremiah 29.11. We all know that verse. I know the plans that I have for you. You see, there are good plans. Not plans for evil, but good plans to give you a good future. To give you prosperity. Every one of you, if you are here, and I want you to believe. I want you to listen to me very carefully. The things of God are received by faith. Listen to me. In the year 2009, I was somewhere in Akesha, Yakuruka Mwaka Kamahi. And then, the word that the Lord spoke to me in that Kesha is that Jeremiah 29:11. He just said, ni vas tulikuwa tumezoea kuisikia wakati mwingi. But in that Kesha he said that I have a good plan for you. And I took that word and I knew that this year the Lord has a good plan for me. So I prayed that night and even after that night that was my declaration that this year God has a good plan for me. It is a plan to prosper me. It is a good plan and not a plan of evil. I took it by faith. And let me tell you. One of the things that God did for me that same year, actually in, in three months, no one else had seen that thing in our family. I was the very first person in 2009. And that is the year that God transformed my life completely. 2009. So, don't take these things lightly. Someone just pick this word and run with it. The Lord has released it for it to be the lamp to your feet this season. And to be your light in this season. Take a word. And from today, go saying that word. That this year, things that no eye has seen. Things that no ear has heard. Things that have not entered the hearts of men. These are the things that God has prepared for me. If I were you, this is what I could be saying even right now. There is something that God has prepared for me this year. And it is not an ordinary thing. It is an unusual thing. It is not an ordinary thing. It is an extraordinary thing. It is something that no one else knows. It is something that no one else has had. It is something that no one else has ever seen. It is something that has not entered in another person's mind. The Lord has prepared he has something for me this year. Something for me he has prepared. He has prepared. He has prepared. He has prepared something. Something for me. Something for me. Something for me this year. Oh, you work out and you pack Nikia empty handed no. There is something ready for me. 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 Nasio Jambo la Kawaida. Sio jambo ambalo linajulikana sio jambo ambalo limeonekana sio jambo ambalo limesikika sio jambo ambalo limeingia kwenye mawazo ya watu katika jina la Yesu if you are here and you do business just rise up on your feet in the name of Jesus you are here you do business you are here and you do business in the name of Jesus and even those who are trusting God for businesses stand up on your feet stand up on your feet in the name of Jesus. Nataka niachilie neema specially katika maisha yako. Bwana akupatie idea ambayo haijawahi ingia kwa mawazo ya mtu mwingine. Si lazima iweke biashara ambayo imeiona mtu mwingine akiweka, ambayo imesikia watu wakisema ya kwamba hiyo ndio biashara nzuri ambayo already imeingia kwa mawazo ya mtu mwingine. But I am releasing special grace now in the name of Jesus to be able to receive business ideas that no eye has seen, to receive business ideas that no one has had, to receive business ideas that have not entered people's hearts and even people's minds in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, yes.
Yes, 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 yes. I release that grace in this season. That grace in this season. See, as in my own way, I need to work a couple more. No, you can be a beginner. Yes, 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 yes. You can see me having, uh, being the very first person to see it. Yes, you can hear something. Being the very first person to hear it. You can conceive a mind and an idea. Being the very first person to conceive it. In Jesus' name, you may have your seats. So, in other words, Naiza Nikaelezea he, these are unusual things that God has prepared for us. Extraordinary things. Supernatural things. They are beyond human vision, human hearing, and even human mind. They are beyond. They are hidden from humanity. They have been hidden from the rulers of this world. They have been hidden from this age. The scientists of this world, they think that they have discovered so many things. But even as they continue to discover, there are also many things that have been hidden. And the Lord is unveiling them, even through the church. And this is the time. He is uncovering those things. And he is not uncovering them for nothing. He is uncovering them so that we may do them, so that we may manifest them. So that we may manifest them. Because the Bible says that in this verse, let all our eyes be here. But God has revealed them to us. Remember, in Metoko Kokusema, things that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, they have not entered any person's heart. Those are the things that the Lord has prepared for us. Then the Bible says, but God has revealed them to us through his spirit. So even if those things are hidden from the world and from the wisdom of this world, but the Bible says that they have been revealed to us through his spirit. And the Lord is going to reveal them to us this year. One of the things that is going to really happen in our lives this year is revelation. Is revelation. Revelation. Spiritual revelation. This is spiritual knowledge. Just knowing things spiritually. Si kwa hekima ya vitabu ambayo pia ni nzuri lakini kuna hekima ingine zaidi revelation one of the things that will be flowing in our lives this year revelation 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 by the spirit of god for the spirit searches all things yes the deep things of god hapa anasema ya kwamba hizi vitu anazireveal kwetu kupitia roho mtakatifu so the main person that we need this year is the holy spirit Someone say the Holy Spirit. Someone open your mouth and say, Holy Spirit, I need you this year that you may reveal to me the deep things and the sacred things of God. So what you need is the Holy Spirit to be able to know those things. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit has revealed these things. For the spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. Now, these things have been hidden in God. And it is the Holy Spirit who searches the mind of God. He searches the heart of God. He searches the things of God. And as he has searched them, he is going to reveal them to you. He is going to reveal them to us. So we are going to flow with a lot of revelation this year. Verse 11 says, For what man knows the things of a man, except the spirit of the man which is in him. Even so, no one knows the things of God, except the spirit of God. So when we are talking about those things that have not been seen, heard, or entered the hearts of men, we need to know that they have been hidden in the heart of God. And then it is the spirit of God who knows the heart of God, or the mind of God. And the Bible says that he is the one who reveals them to us after searching the heart of God. After searching the mind of God. He reveals them even unto us. Verse 12. Verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us. Hello? Someone open your mouth and say, I have not received the spirit of this world, but I have received the spirit who is from God. That I might know 
the things that have been freely given to me by God. Now, these things that have been hidden, the Bible says these things belong to you. These things are yours. And there are things that are freely given to us through Christ Jesus. My people perish because of lack of Ukiwai ona area yoyote unakumia, ile kitu unakosa kwa hiyo area ni knowledge. Kama wewe ni masikini, unafaa kabla uombe mungu pesa, muombe knowledge in the area of finances. Because what you do not know is what you suffer from. But if you know the things that are freely given to you, then you claim them and you take them, you own them because you know them. So anytime that God wants to do something in your life, he reveals it to you. The moment you know that something belongs to me, then you own that thing. Then you take that thing. So, one of the things the Lord is going to do for us this year, by His Spirit, the Bible says we have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God. He reveals to me that you should not be poor, because He became poor that you might become rich. He reveals to you, you should not live in that sickness or disease, because He carried our sicknesses and disease. It is just it is just one knowledge away. Your miracle is one knowledge away. Your miracle is one revelation away. Your miracle is just one understanding away. You just need to know that he carried my curses. And so I cannot carry generational curses. Hello? You just need to know that he died for my sins. And so I cannot be killed. I am the righteousness of God. You just need to know the things that are freely, freely, given to us. The Holy Spirit is revealing many things that are given to us this year. And as he reveals them, he brings them to us. Anything that God does or gives, he gives through revelation. <laughs> okay, I will teach this as one of the parts of uh, this message for this year. And I taught it another time and I, I have a feeling that many of you never understood when I taught it. But why is God called the father of all light? And in the same verse, the Bible says that all good and perfect gifts come from the Father of all lights. He gives all things through light. He says that the hidden things belong to him, but the revealed things belong to you and your children. So anything he has now given to our realm, he reveals it. The moment he reveals it, it comes from the hidden realm to our realm. From the hidden realm to our realm. And because you shall understand the message, the theme for this year. You must, you must understand revelation. When we talk about light, we are talking about knowledge, understanding, and, and wisdom. Let, let's continue. Let's finish this. 13. These things we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teach, but which the Holy Spirit teaches. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. The Bible says that this wisdom, I'm talking sasa kuongea kwa i wisdom ambayo haijaonekana, haijasikika hapo meleni. Ansema sasa i wisdom, pia huwa tunaifunza. Lakini hatuifunzi kwa maneno ambayo ni ya wanadamu, ya hekima ya wanadamu. Lakini tunayafunza kwa maneno inayofunzwa na roho mtakatifu. Huu mwaka ni naomba kila moja wetu, afanya hili yombi. Ambie roho mtakatifu, ningependa unifunze. Ili maneno tunayo yaongea, tuyaonge, sio yale tumefunzwa na ulimwengu wa hekima ya ulimwengu, lakini ambao tumefunzwa na roho mtakatifu. Many people will come to you and ask you, who taught you this business? And you will tell them, it is not by power, it is not by might, but by the spirit of God. Many will come and tell you, where did you get this ministerial idea? And you will tell them, it is not by power, it is not by might, but by the spirit. The time has come that the things that we do are the things that you are not taught by men. Oh, things that you are not taught in school. Things that you are not taught in, them in those companies. But you are going to manifest things that we are taught of the spirit. Jesus said that the things that you see me do, the things that you hear me do, oh, it is not me who do them, but it is my father who lives in me. It is the Holy Spirit. We are going to do things and when people ask us, they know that this is not usual. It is extraordinary. This must be God. And we will tell them it is the Holy Spirit who taught me this business. It is the Holy Spirit who taught me to do this thing. Oh, in Jesus' name. The next verse says, 
But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually designed. He is saying this wisdom I am talking about, it cannot be understood by carnal men, by the natural men. I want you to understand there is the carnal man and the supernatural man or the, the spirit man. The spirit man is the born again man, is the inner man. The carnal man or the natural man is that one who is not born again. The Bible says that this wisdom, it, it is foolishness to those natural men. Natural man, another word to explain is those people who use the sensual knowledge, the, the, the senses, the common senses. Iko bound in a common senses. At ya wezi ukaona zaidi ya ile unaona kwa macho yako ya kumwili. Hawezi ukasikia beyond na hii masikio. The Bible says that hii macho ya kawaida, hii masikio ya kawaida, hayezi elewa hiyo. Inasema, it cannot be understood by the canal. But the Bible says that they are spiritually designed because they are spiritual things. They are spiritual things. This year, one of the things the Lord is going to do is that the Lord is going to open our eyes. Because if you have to see something that no other eye has seen, then you must see beyond these physical eyes. If you see it with your physical eyes, it means other people have already seen it. Oh my God. Anything you see with your physical eyes, you see it because it has been established by Anna. It has already been brought from the supernatural to the natural. But if you see through your spiritual eyes, you are able to see that which has not even been manifested here in this natural world. So you must, be by, you must see by your spiritual eyes. You must hear by your spiritual ears. You must know things by your spirit. Not just reasoning, reasoning out things is good. But you know things even beyond reasoning. Beyond your mental faculties. Hello? Hello? Let this message sink. If you have to see something that no other eye has seen, you cannot see it in this realm. This realm is, <laughs> is only for those things that have, have already been made. That those things that already exist. Now, if it exists, you are not the first person to see it. If you'll be the first person to see it, then you must see it with the eyes that others are not seeing it. And the Bible says that those who see or try to see these things by the carnal mind, by carnality, by human wisdom, they cannot see them. But there is another wisdom. And the Bible has told that it is the wisdom that is taught by the Spirit. And these things are spiritually designed. These things are spiritually known. This is the year when many of us are going to go beyond the physical. Oh, you will speak spiritually. You will hear spiritually. You will see spiritually. You will walk in the spirit. You will live in the spirit. You will make strides in the spirit. You will swim in the spirit. You will move in the spirit. Yes. We are going beyond the natural. Someone tap your neighbor. Tap in Nikufanya Hivi. Tap them and tell them we are going beyond the natural. We are living beyond the natural. We are moving beyond the natural. Yes, yes, yes. They are spiritually designed. The next verse says, But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. Anyone who is spiritual, you can judge all matters, but you cannot be judged. The next verse, I want us to finish this. For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. He was tricky. Because many of you, you love singing. Father, as you, as heavens and the earth are far away, that is how my mind is far away from your mind. I cannot even know your mind. I cannot know your heart. The Bible is first asking, who knows the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? And then it says, it finishes by saying, but we have the mind of Christ. So the next time you think that you don't think like God, Remember this verse and say, I have the mind of Christ. Because the Bible says, set your mind and your eyes on the things above. If you have set your minds on the things above, it means you have the mind of Christ. 
And so you know the mind of God. God does not want to have people who are always saying, I cannot know your mind. I cannot know your heart. No. He wants actually people who knows his mind, who knows his heart, who knows his agenda, who knows what needs to be done. Those are the people that God needs. And now because we have the Holy Spirit, we have the mind of Christ. We can understand what he wants us to do this year. We can understand what he wants us to accomplish. Someone open your mouth and shout, I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. I have the Holy Spirit. I know the heart of God. I know the mind of God. Eh, sasa wengine wenyu mlianzia kwa roho, hapa kwa kumalizia juu ni kama umedoubt hauna mind ya Mungu na the heart of God. God is talking about David and he is saying he is a man after my own heart. He has the heart of God. He was looking for a man who could have done what was in the heart of God. For you to do what is in the heart of God, you must have the heart of God. You must have the mind of God. The reason as to why we fellowship with him, even in prayer and intimacy, is for us, is for that exchange that I might know his will, that I might know his mind, that I might know his agenda concerning the nation of Kenya, that I might know his agenda concerning in my family that I might know his agenda even concerning my life don't live as a person who does not know anything you do not know you do not know what god wants you to do you do not know god's mind concerning kenya this year you do not know god's mind concerning your family this year you are just living blindly if you are living that kind of life you are blind the next time you you notice you are that kind of a man go before the lord and tell him oh father i come to fellowship with you I have come to seek your heart. I have come to seek your mind. May I know what you are up to in this season. May I know what you are up to in my family. May I know what do you want to do with my life this year. That is how you receive the mind of God and the heart of God. You know what he wants done. I have the mind of Christ. I know the mind of God. <laughs> oh, that I may instruct him. The Bible says, who knows the mind of God that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let, let's read one verse. Go to where we are in the book of Job. Uh -huh. Job 28. We are in verse 8. Let, let's read. I want us to do a declaration for this year. We had already read, uh, the proud lions have not trodden it, nor has the fierce, uh, fear, fierce lion pressed or passed over it. Verse 9. But, uh -huh. He puts his hand on the flint. He overturns the mountains at the roots. Ukianza mwanzo wa chapter, inaongea kuhusu mahali precious stones huwa zinatolewa. So inapeana processes. Na huko kwenye precious stones zinatolewa, Huko the birds has jafika, the lions has jafika. La sasa inaelezea vile hizo hu, vitu hutolewa. Na bibi inasema ya kwamba, yule ambaye anamine, huwa anaenda anaweka mkono wake on, on the flint. He overturns mountain because it is a hidden thing. So he has to overturn mountain. Why is he overturning mountain? Not only to see it, but we shall see the reason. The next verse says, He cuts out channels in the rocks and his eyes sees every precious things. After that, anakata channels. Ndiyo mara unaona watu wote wakimine. Lazima wanaenda wakichimbua. Wana overturn mountains. Unaona? Wanatengeneza channels. Wakitafuta hiyo gold. Ama hiyo kitu yenye ni precious. Wanaitafuta. Nabina sema ya kwamba, wanapo endelea, anafika mahali sasa, na macho yake kwanza ya naona the precious things. So the first step is seeing. And let me tell you, and if you can write it, write it. If you can see it, you can have it. But if you cannot see it, you can never have it. <laughs> if you can see it, you can bring it out. If you cannot see it, you cannot bring it out. In other words, what I, I say, if you can see it, you can manifest it. If you cannot see it, you cannot manifest it. Remember, if you have it or you see it, you can have it. It also means you can also give it because you can never give what you do not have. And you can never have what you have not seen. That is why I told you anything that God gives. He gives through revelation. You must see it. So the Bible says, this man before he brings that gold out, he first sees that gold. 
Then after seeing it, the next verse says, He dams up the streams from the trickling. What is hidden, he brings forth to light. So that which is hidden under the mountains, under the rocks. The Bible says now, after he sees it, the next assignment is that he brings it out to light. He brings it out to light. What is hidden? He brings it out to light. He brings it out to light. Tulafikisha hapo. So his intention ya kwenda huko kwenye giza. His intention ya kwenda huko chini ya milima. His intention ya kuchimba hivyo vyote ilikuwa na kitu moja peke yake. Si kuiona peke yake but that he may be able to bring it out. That what was hidden to bring it out. The reason as to why God will show you things that I have not seen is so that you may reveal them, is so that you may do them, is so that now you may bring them out because it means if they are not seen they are in darkness. God wants you to bring them to light. That what was hidden, he wants you to bring to light. If God is going to reveal his word to you, it is because he wants you now to bring that word to others, to reveal it, to manifest it. The reason as to why God will reveal that business idea to you is because he wants from that dark or from that that deep place where you have seen it in a dream that you may be able to manifest it. God does not want you see visions and dreams and never to manifest them but God always want you to manifest whatever you see so the reason as to why he is revealing hidden things is so that you may reveal them now not secretly but now in the light and so the Lord is saying that this is our year 2023 ha, are you ready to receive the message for the year Rise up on your feet wherever you are. We are going to receive it with praise, with shout, with shout, with shout, with shout. This is our season. He is revealing those hidden things for you, for one purpose, that you may be able to bring them from the darkness into light. From the realm of the spirit to the natural realm. That is why he is opening your spiritual eyes. That you may see things in the spirit that have not yet manifested here on the natural world. The reason is for you to bring them now and manifest them. That is why he revealed these things that scientists have not known. One of the things the Lord is going to do this year, and actually not only this year, but we are entering a season. And listen to me very carefully. There is one special cure that the Lord is releasing especially in this season and this is the cure for cancer this is the cure for cancer for a long time it has been like a mystery even to scientists but especially through the area of medicine god is bringing a cure for cancer he is going to reveal it to men he is going to reveal medicine to men he is going to reveal the cure to men it is like you are never you are not happy it's like you do not know how many people have died of cancer. It's like you have not experienced people in your families that have died of cancer. One of the things the Lord is, and this one he is releasing it through, through the wisdom of the scientists and the medics. That is how he is doing it, even as we continue to heal cancer. But he is also giving knowledge to the researchers and to the doctors. They will have medicine to heal cancer. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So what that person who will bring that cure will do is that he will go to research. There is a knowledge he will get from a deep place. Something that has not been manifested. He is going to bring it from darkness and bring it to light. And it will help many people. And that is what will happen also with your life. The reason as to why God is revealing it to you is that you may bring it and it will now help many people that will manifest that business. And that business, it will help many people. So 2023 is the year of supernatural manifestations. Supernatural manifestations. Supernatural manifestations, supernatural manifestations, supernatural manifestations, supernatural manifestations, extraordinary manifestations, 
unusual manifestations, extraordinary manifestations, unusual manifestations, supernatural manifestations. Someone lift your hands and shout to the Lord. Someone shout to the Lord. Someone shout to the Lord. Someone open your mouth and shout and say, This is my year of supernatural manifestations. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 2023 is my year of supernatural manifestations. This is the year that I'm going to manifest supernatural things. This is the year I'm going to manifest things that have not been seen, things that have not been heard, things that have not even been perceived by other men. I am going to manifest them. I am going to manifest that vision that I saw many, many years ago. I am going to manifest that dream that I dreamt many years ago. I am going to manifest her. Yes, yes. This is the year of supernatural manifestations. Whatever has been in darkness, we are bringing it to light. We are manifesting it. The wisdom of it has been hidden for the other ages and it is it needs to be revealed in our ages. This is the year that we are going to manifest them. We are going to manifest the manifold wisdom of God. Yes, 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 yes. Keep on standing. Keep on standing. Nimesimama kushinda wengine wenyu. Keep on standing. Keep on standing. You know the Bible talks about Paul in the book of uh, Acts 19. And the Bible says how God worked unusual things through the hands or by the hands of Paul unusual things extraordinary things when you are talking about supernatural things super unaona hapo kuna majina mawili natural and super supernatural ina maanisha it is something that surpasses natural it is not in the natural but now when you come to manifestation it means that that thing that is beyond the natural now you bring it to the natural you bring it to manifestation Many of you have lived with dreams. You dreamt those dreams a long time ago. Many of you have had visions. And many of those visions have never been manifested. The Lord is saying that this is your year of supernatural manifestations. Some of you, you have had desires. Some of you, it is even when you are in schools, desires. But maybe you did not have enough knowledge to manifest them. You did not have enough strength, even enough resources. To manifest them. But the Lord is saying that this is the year. Whatever is needed for you to manifest that thing that has been in your life. This is the year of your manifestation. You shall manifest it in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you carry potentials. You carry graces. Some of you even, the servants of the Lord laid their hands on you. Some of you have received impartations, even through dreams and visions. You saw great men of God praying over you. You saw prophetic words spoken of your life. And many of you, those things have never been manifested. But the Lord is saying that this is the time that those things be manifested in the name of Jesus. Those things are going to be manifested, to be manifested this year. This is your time. Listen to me. Some of you, you have prophetic words that have not been fulfilled. Prophetic words. And I want you to take what I am saying very seriously. Some of you, you are told by a servant of God that you, this will happen to you. And this will happen to you. But for a long time, it has not happened. Even some of you have been asking themselves, is it that haiku ukweli ama what happened? The Lord is saying that no more delay. This is the year that you are going to see the fulfillment of that prophetic word. Of that prophetic word. There is grace. There is grace for manifestation. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Some of you, you have been experiencing, especially, uh, you have been experiencing, especially, uh, frust what we call frustrated potentials. You see yourself doing something, but the moment you try to manifest it, or now to do it physically, 
it fails or you are not able to do it. Some of you, it is in the area of ministry. You have seen yourself healing men. You have seen yourself preaching to men. You have seen yourself doing great work even in the kingdom of God. But anytime you want to do it or you try now to manifest it, it has not happened. And many of you have been so frustrated because there has not been reconciliation between the supernatural and the natural. But the Lord is saying that this is the year of manifesting that thing that is still in the spirit realm. He is, it, is, it must now be brought to the natural. It must be done. The same way you see yourself doing it in a dream. It will not remain in your dreams forever. It will not remain in your visions forever. Many of you have seen yourself driving good cars. Many of you have seen yourself being married. Many of you have seen yourself oh, even financially prosperous. But anytime you try a business, anytime you try a new thing, it is like your potential or your vision is frustrated. But the Lord is saying that this is the year. There is grace. Don't worry how it will happen. You have tried, you have failed. But because this is that season, there is always grace for a season. May you receive enough grace, special grace to manifest it. Special grace to manifest it. You will not be frustrated anymore. You will not be frustrated anymore. May there be reconciliation now between your visions and your dreams and your reality and your reality. Many of you who speak big things, it is because you have seen big things. May they be done now in your life. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Yes. It is the year of supernatural manifestations. Supernatural manifestations. God wants to work unusual things by your hands.